We're bringing you this video a few weeks after we filmed it, and the garden is finally in bloom. It's been a rough couple weeks for our family, but we're all doing better, and I still wanted to share this interesting DIY technique with you. I hope you enjoy. Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl, or should I say, Bonjour mes amis, je m'appelle Angela et voici Parisian Farm Girl. Maintenant, j'apprends le français parce que, à septembre, je vais visiter Paris avec mes enfants. I'll be visiting Paris later this year with my children and so I am using Babbel to brush up on my language skills. Babbel is the premier language learning app. With easy 10 minute lessons, it's not just vocabulary words, you get to practice real interaction and really improve your skills. Check out the link in this video description for 65% off your subscription. Lessons are designed by real teachers, no machines. There are multiple ways to learn with lessons, podcasts, games, videos, and more, and live classes with top teachers. And they have a 20 day money back guarantee. You know how passionate I am about you making your space beautiful and filling your mind with goodness as well. Learning a language is an excellent way to expand your mind and expand your horizons. Every time I brush up on my French, I learn something new. So check the link in this video description and enjoy 65% off your Babbel app subscription. A quick video for you today because I'm actually in the middle of a project here in our bedroom and I need to get it done before I go crazy. We've decided that we're pretty much over this whole eco house thing. It doesn't really work in Northern Wisconsin. We're either really cold or we're really warm. So we will be installing some wood burning fireplaces throughout the house and we keep our fireplace cranked all winter. We're going to put a small window unit air conditioner in the living room so that we can at least have one room in the summer where we bring down the humidity because the beautiful old ivory keys are constantly popping off of our piano. Now, this eco house is designed so that air goes one way to cool it down and another way to warm it up, in theory. I think it's probably a better idea in San Francisco where the architect is from. There are huge slats in our bedroom floor because that's on the second story of the greenhouse and in the conservatory downstairs below me, that is the first level of the greenhouse. And I have been researching for years on ways to fill these spaces in between the boards. It would be completely uneconomical to pop them up and move them all over. It would just, they would just get destroyed. There's huge nails in the boards and goodness knows with the cost of lumber, replacing them is out of the question. These gaps are really, really substantial. So I finally stumbled upon an idea that from what I understand is from colonial times. This is how fishermen used to repair their boats by wedging rope in between the cracks and it used to be used on wood flooring as well. So I am going to try that. I've done a few boards. I have a long way to go, the entire bedroom and then the entire conservatory downstairs, but I couldn't be more hopeful. It's going to cut down on noise. This is a very noisy house because when the kids play in the basement, we can hear it in our bedroom. It's going to cut down on weird wonky lighting. Right now in the conservatory, I have hot pink grow lights and they shine through every board in my bedroom in the evening, which is not very romantic, not very beautiful. So I've ordered a ton of rope and I'm going to get to work and share how to do this with you. If you have large cracks in your floors in your own home, you can do the same thing. It will probably be a lot easier because you won't be working with an actual gap. So finally, I get to say goodbye to dropping jewelry and earbuds into the abyss. 
I get to say goodbye to vacuuming my bedroom and having all the dust fall down on my plants in the conservatory, things are looking up. In scouring the internet for a solution to these floors, I found wood putty suggestions, but no one was really dealing with open holes in their floor. What we were looking at was really a substantial problem. Finally, after countless clicks, I found a few obscure photographs about using rope in the same way they used to repair boats, and that really got my attention. We live in a fishing community, and the natural look of the rope I thought was so beautiful. It was also the most economical solution to the problem. For just a couple hundred dollars and some serious elbow grease, I can now fix this problem that's been a thorn in my side for the last four and a half years. When there are Okay, this problem uh, is not going to be without its problems. Um, the boards vary because heaven forbid we just nail down boards that are the same width apart. So that's why I have to use the hammer because sometimes they go from less than a quarter inch to like up here, bigger than a half inch. So here is where my rope is sagging. And here I tried to fill it with wood putty and it looks terrible, it smells terrible. And I actually really like the natural color of the rope. My original idea from what I read is that you can stain all of this, which I, I could stain these floors. I could sand them down because they're really water stained. They look terrible. Um, but I'm not really digging this wood putty color. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to order three quarter inch, maybe singe the two pieces together, cut the cut where it's starting to drape and then use the same technique of hammering in the three quarter inch because um, this is really killing my mojo here. In other areas where it's just packed in tight, it's really beautiful. I love the quirky, rustic look to it. And I love this idea of taking a historic technique and using it in a modern home as a solution. That, of course, is really geeking me out. The wood putty, um, it's very ugly. I'm not really enjoying it. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to place an order for some three quarter inch and I'm going to keep working this half inch into these quarter inch gaps because it's nice and tight and I think it looks great.
Well, it's snowing again, so apparently I'll have time to finish this crazy project before I'm in the garden all day. Be sure, if you're in the garden all day, or if you have a big project to do, subscribe to Babbel. Enjoy 65% off. Check the link in this video description. Use that time to fill your brain with some goodness. This is going to take a long time, but I do love the idea of a historic solution to a modern problem. Stick around, we've got lots more DIY, decorating, and design. Check out this video right here. Make sure that you are a member of my Old World Design Society because that's all we do. You can do that by clicking the circle right here. And I will see you again very soon. A bientôt.